Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Advent liturgy. Advent means coming, and our prayer service today invites us to prepare for the coming of the Christ child. We celebrate the promise of his coming, his birth, and our call to join the angels and shepherds in proclaiming the message of God who shares our humanity. Let us join together in prayer and song to recall this mystery of mysteries and to prepare ourselves to receive our God with joy and gratitude.
the time of expectation and anticipation. Our liturgy begins by recalling the Hebrew Bible prophecies, which foretold that the Messiah would come from the family of King David. Jesus is descended from David following the lineage of both Mary and Joseph. Every generation prepared for his coming and awaited his arrival. At Christmas, we rejoice and celebrate the birth into our world of Emmanuel, God with us. Isaiah. The Lord says this, just like a new branch that sprouts from a stump, someone from David's family will someday be king. The spirit of the Lord will give him wisdom and the knowledge and skill to rule his people. He will know the Lord's will and honor him and find pleasure in worshiping God. He won't judge by appearances or listen to rumors. The poor and the helpless will be treated with fairness and justice. He will rule his people with justice and integrity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The prophet Isaiah proclaims how a good leader acts, and especially how he or she should treat those in their care, with fairness, justice, and integrity. We are all taught to be leaders. We are collecting tools to aid us in positively impacting the world around us, Older students set an example for how younger students should behave and act. No one person is better than another. Instead, we are all equals. In our daily lives, we are encouraged to honor God and act as the humble, respectful, and courageous people that God has called us to be. We need to resist being harshly judgmental and instead focus on one another's true character and the intentions within their hearts.
fulfill their civic duty, Mary and Joseph had to endure a difficult journey to David's ancestral hometown. Mary was in the last month of her pregnancy. They arrived in Bethlehem, the city of David, and fulfilled the prophecy that foretold the Messiah's birth there. In a simple stable, under a brilliant star, Mary and Joseph became parents as God became human. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own hometown. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mary and Joseph returned to Bethlehem only to discover they had no place to stay. Mary was close to giving birth. She had made herself comfortable in a stable among the barn animals. Mary arriving in Bethlehem and giving birth in a stable among the barn animals must have been so hard for her. She was tired after a long journey, but she never gave up. The word spread quickly that Messiah, a savior put to the world sent by God, was born in a stable. Nothing about Jesus' birth was, was luxurious. Let's not forget the humble beginnings of when God became human. This birth story points toward Jesus' future. Jesus helped those who suffered the poor, the sick, and the helpless. He did not seek wealth or fame. Rather, he traveled near and far to spread God's message. He never gave up, just like his mother never gave up.
glorifying God with prayer in our hearts, kindness always in our speech, and with our loving actions towards others. Let us remember the angels in our midst, pointing us towards signs of God's presence here and now. Let us go forth to bring light to those in darkness, make peace in our troubled world, and spread love everywhere we go. Gospel according to Luke. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of their flocks. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I'm here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all of the people. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing you praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those whom he has pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in a manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. 
all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd saw. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a joyful time. May we always be reminded of the inherent joy of the season of Advent. Jesus' birth brought so much joy to the people of Bethlehem. Finally, the prophecy predicting his birth that everyone had been waiting for had come true. To the people who were suffering and living through turmoil, Jesus' birth gave them a reason to hope that good conquers evil. Even the three magi traveled from far away to witness this beautiful occasion and see the baby Jesus for themselves. They came bearing gifts, gold to represent Jesus and his king with an everlasting throne, frankincense to acknowledge Jesus' pri priesthood, Finally, myrrh had extensive healing value and foreshadowing of Jesus' healing ministries during his adult travels. Gracious God, hear the prayers of our Mary Mount community. The response to today's petitions will be, Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Let us pray for the students, families, teachers, administrators, members of the board of trustees, and alumni of Mary Mount School, that young and old alike may experience the beauty and joy of the season. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. We pray for all members of the global network of RSHM schools around the world. May this network help all of us to live out the mission of the founders of the religious of the Sacred Heart of Mary, that all may have life. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. The 
feast day of St. Lucy, also named Santa Lucia, is celebrated by the church later this month, the patron saint of the blind. St. Lucy's name means light. In celebration of last Friday's International Day of Persons with Disabilities, may we seek to form relationships with those who have disabilities in any form. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Let us pray for our Jewish friends and classmates who celebrate Hanukkah, the eight-day festival of lights, last week. Let us also pray for those who celebrate Kwanzaa. May this season of illumination offer much need, hope, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Let us take a moment to consider a special intention and let us pray for the sick, especially those who are sick with the coronavirus, for those who have passed away, and for all who have asked for our prayers. May God bring them comfort. Please take a moment to think of your special intention silently. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. division-wide Christmas event in this format and in a moment your daughters will leave the altar to prepare for dismissal. Every student will be dismissed to the back of the church known as Darlington Hall. We ask that families today exit the church to allow Liturgy B to come in next and collect your girls from Darlington Hall. It's located on 90th Street between 5th and Madsen, and as you ex exit the church's side door, just turn right and it's a little down the street. Miss Mulcahy and Miss Dolan Acosta will kindly usher families from their seats. I am so proud of your girls and I hope you enjoyed their liturgy today, and I wish you a wonderful Advent. <laughs> <laughs> 